Bubbling is the removal of any minerals affected by the acid. See if we can't find some silver. Let's go. There we go. Hey Miner here. I've got some silver that had been in previous videos, been etched in acid, or muriatic or vinegar. It does the same job. Vinegar is a little bit slower. That's a nice piece. And another one. My wife doesn't like it. She just thinks they're black hunks. Maybe we'll do some rock tumbling. My goal here is to take some perfectly good etched silver and make a nugget, a polished nugget. Small tumbler. We'll see how much we can put in. So what I'm gonna do is start with stage four tumbler polish, then burnish, and see how that turns out. We'll fill it full of beads for cushioning. We'll add water and then alumina 1200 grit polish. Now we button it up. And we'll set it to tumbling. Well, the tumbler's been running for three weeks. I looked at the rocks after a week and they needed more time. Let's see if it's a win or a fail. I have no idea what to expect here. Let's take a look. Some of the beads are stuck in the grooves and crevices. I'll need to get a metal tool to pull those out. It's looking pretty sharp. Hope there's more in there. The plastic beads float, so I'm just gonna scoop them off. Just a whack of little ones in here. So here they are dry. Aren't they cute? And then we've got some heavies left down here. Which I will save for melting. And now we burnish. We'll be using ivory soap and water to get that extra little bit of shine on these rocks. Well, that should be enough. And that's the end of our ASMR portion of this video. <laughs> and we should be done. We'll rinse them off really well. 
dry them up, see how they look. Typically silver is weighed in troy ounces. These samples look like high grade silver. They won't be pure silver because there'll be a mix of other metals in here. Maybe some nickel, cobalt, etc. You like? I like. I like it a lot. If one was to sell specimens like this, the price would probably be a multiple of the spot price of silver.